welcome back to this Told by Ray. I am your girl Ray and this is my YouTube channel, B. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I post. You want to be notified so that you can be a part of the Ray fam, aka the latest motherfucking fam in the YouTube land. And that is just on the period, okay, boo? Please do not forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience, sis. Why? Because a baddie always leaves links. While you're down there in the description box, please do not forget to follow me on my Twitch as well as on my Patreon where I post all of my unedited content, especially for the Vampire Diaries. You girlies would love it over there, so please do not forget to join up over on the Patreon. And yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. Now, we're going to get into what today's video is going to be. Today, 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 I will be doing my long-awaited uh, unpopular opinions video where I will be reading you guys' unpopular opinions about the Vampire Diaries in this video. The unpopular opinions that you guys have are from seasons one through four because that's what I have watched. Um, So yeah, that's what this is going to be. And yeah i'm excited to see you guys' opinions and comment on them because i y'all i was reading through some of them y'all left some real good ones so we we gonna see about it we gonna see um i just want to say do not cancel me for anybody's opinion okay it's not my fault that they said what they said okay number two like i said at first they said what they said um, three, I've decided not to put you guys' names in the video, even though you guys voted, yeah, I'm not sure if it was y'all who voted yeah, or if it was, like, the people who, like, who did not leave an unpopular opinion that voted yeah, so, just in case, I I'll show the question on the screen, and, but I will block out, um, you guys' names, just for, you know. I don't want nobody adding y'all, so that's what it is. And yeah, with that being said, y'all, let's get right into the video. Period. Okay, y'all. So like I said, we're about to get right into the video. We're not gonna waste no time. Um, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone because that's where I have all of the opinions written down. So you know, let's get into it. Let's not waste no time. So first we have Selena and Delina were both suck they're both horrible boyfriend material irl but it makes for good tv yeah like in real life i wouldn't want either stefan or damon like i wouldn't want either one but it does make for great tv we love the drama for some reason relationship drama really sells and i don't know what it is maybe people just love love that's like i don't know um jeremy is so dramatic i mean it's deserved but still he's so damn dramatic we will not tolerate any jeremy slander y'all know how i feel about jeremy okay jeremy bout that life gilbert let's not play with jeremy however jeremy is really dramatic i feel like it's not just jeremy though like it's a lot of them on this show that's like overly dramatic which makes them kind of unbearable to watch at times so i could see how you could feel that way about jeremy i agree i concur i concur um tyler is and will always be an asshole to me and he cannot be redeemed in my eyes so look okay i sort of agree but then like kind of disagree at the same time because we can we can admit and i hope that we when i'm saying we i mean y'all because y'all my people we could kind of admit that tyler stepped up season two i'm not gonna lie season two tyler was 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 top tier the storyline with caroline was very top tier in season two it, it you know it ate it really did um but tyler i feel like tyler has an alpha male complex and it may be because of the whole wolf instinct thing however tyler is not an alpha male He's, like I said in one of my other videos, Tyler, you're not that guy, pal. And he feels like he's that guy, which makes him an asshole to me. So, I agree, but, like, it was good for the storyline when he wasn't being as asshole-ish. I feel like Tyler pre-vampire, or Tyler pre-being a hybrid, like, before he was a hybrid, was much better than Tyler. I mean, was much worse than Tyler before he was a hybrid, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, y'all get it, y'all get it. It made sense, it made sense. Um, season one is one of the best seasons. Oh, sure. I, I agree with that. Um, personally, 
from the four seasons that I have watched for the show, I can say that I think I've decided that season two is really my favorite because that finale, baby. It was that one. Klaus, oh, baby. Whew, we got Klaus in season two. Let's just appreciate the fact that we got Klaus. I feel like he makes season season two is just so great for me. Another one I really have like really, really enjoyed. I probably really enjoyed season three too. It was different to see Stefan in a different light. Um I don't know. I kinda and this is just one of my opinions. I kinda like Ripper Stefan better than I like like regular, you know, on the wagon Stefan. I don't know. I like I like bad boys and that's what he gave when he was Ripper Stefan, so yeah, so I wouldn't agree that season one is the best. I would probably say for me, it's either two or three. Okay, this one says, I like Elena better than Catherine. Even Nina prefers Catherine, but to me, I see Elena's point of view better and I don't really like Catherine's arc. Now, if I'm going to be completely honest, I do like Catherine more than I like Elena. And my issue with Elena is not even that like, I just think she's written bad. That's what it is. It's not that I don't like her as a character. I don't like the way they write her. Like, I just feel like they could have done so much more with her to make her be a more standout main character. Because to me, compared to, like, some other people in the cast, she just kind of, like, blah. Like, I mean, she, she cool or whatever, but blah. I feel like Catherine got a little bit more... I don't know, she's got a little bit more spark to her. That's kind of why it might be the reason why I kind of fuck with vampire Ale Elena more than I fuck with regular Elena. Something about being a vampire just adds a new level of bad bitch to, like, the character. And I don't know what it is, but that's how I feel about that. So I don't really agree. I prefer Catherine over Elena, but I prefer vampire Elena over Catherine. Okay. This one says, I actually enjoyed Caroline's character in season one. Her worst season by, four is, by far is season four. She's so insufferable. Listen, I was not a fan of Caroline in season one. I, I, I really didn't care for her. She really wasn't that girl to me. However, season two and three, I really, really liked Care. She became one of my favorite characters. I was really, well, female characters. I was really fucking with her. Like, we was on the same page. We saw eye to eye. Season four, though, I do agree that I don't know what it is. Like, what, what it was about that changed about her character, but I really didn't like it. She became, like, one of the things that really irritated me with Caroline in season four was telling Stefan that Damon and Elena had slept together when Elena clearly like looked her in her face and said I want to tell Stefan myself I I just didn't like it like she was just so nosy and just so like oh uh, like uh, uh. even her scenes with Klaus like as much as I love a good Caroline Klaus scene she was dragging it like she was dragging it they she was her 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 character was really drug in season four and I just I couldn't understand it her storyline with Tyler it got boring like it was it was it was drug and I I really do agree that season four was by far the worst season but I would say I really enjoyed Caroline I really remember starting to like her in season two I didn't really care much for Lexi me neither here, here. I agree. Uh, Catherine is a great villain, but I don't like her at all, and I have always preferred Elena. That's kind of the same thing as I read earlier. Um, and y'all know I disagree with that. I I always take Catherine over Elena, but I'll take Vampire Elena over Catherine. Elijah has some good moments, but he kind of irks me. No Elijah slander will be tolerated. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I love Stefan, but he got on my nerves for much of season one, two, and four. Um, yeah, and contrary to what you guys believe, I really do love Stefan. Like, I don't... <laughs> Stefan is, like, in my top male characters. Like, I really do love Stefan. It's just sometimes he could just be so, just so... Like, season four, this breakup with Elena, he dragged it. And I understand y'all was saying, oh my god, his feelings was hurt, and this and the third girl... Girl, like, come on now. Like, to me, him acting shocked that that Elena wanted Damon or liked Damon is so just, like, baffling to me. Because I feel like I knew, you know, 
or he should have known by like season two like what are we acting so surprised for is it surprised that she actually likes him back like what is it i never understood what it was but i just knew that i wasn't fucking with it so there's that and yeah he did kind of get on my nerves oh uh, well i kind of season one he wasn't that bad season two mm, season three season three stefan is like my favorite stefan probably and then season four like i said break up drag klaus and damon would have been a better duo than klaus and stefan now see you're getting somewhere Klaus and Damon definitely would have been a better duo because even in the few scenes that we do get with them, they're pretty funny together. Like, I don't know. It feels like it makes sense. I guess it's because if you really, really think about it, they're kind of the same character. Except for Klaus is a little more toddlerish than Damon is. Like, he Damon don't really throw fits. Klaus throws fits, though. Um, I feel like Stefan... It's the same thing with Stefan and, and Elijah. I feel like Stefan and Elijah mirror each other quite a lot. So that's what I feel like the brothership gave. I do think that Klaus and Damon, though, would have been a better duo than Klaus and Stefan were. Um, Bonnie deserved a better relationship than what she has with Bonnie. The writers never gave them enough room to grow, and they pretty much stayed stagnant for the amount of time they were dating. Now... I do agree that they stay kind of stagnant, like nothing really, nothing really came from the relationship, but they were really cute. I think had the writers, like you said, done just a little bit more, pushed it a little bit more, gave it even like, I don't know, like a quarter of the amount of screen time that we get with Elena and Damon and Stefan, they really could have worked on that relationship and it would have really been much better. But th I do agree that it could have been better. I liked the idea of her and Jeremy, but I wish we would have really drove it there, you know? I think the writers should have gave Caroline and Matt a real try. They kind of were doomed from the start, and I wish we got to see them develop more before they threw Tyler into the mix. So here's my opinion on Caroline and Matt. Caroline and Matt were cute. Yes, I really, I really do believe it. But I think where the writers kind of fucked up with Caroline and Matt is turning Caroline to a vampire. That's kind of where it went downhill with their relationship. It was, had they not made her a vampire, I really feel like she would, her and Matt would have stayed together. Um, but I like them better as friends, kind of like how I like Elena and Matt better as friends. I think it just, I don't know, it's just cute. Um, Tyler at the time to me was a better fit for her in my personal opinion only because they could relate like she she understood him she got him i like the way that they did the storyline i hate that it had to be tyler though because him and matt was friends i just thought that was kind of wild that it had to be tyler but you know i do think that tyler and caroline were the better couple between if i had to choose who it was so i don't know maybe they could have gave him a real try maybe i mean they was cute until they wasn't this is how i feel about it the whole damon is to blame for everything got real tired really quickly especially when the show itself endorsed it you ate with that one you you ate with that one you ate down with that one but you know what i'm not gonna comment on stuff involving damon because then they'll say that i'm biased the people will say that I'm biased and, you know, yeah, I, I don't have time for them, to, for them to do that. So, but I agree. <laughs> See, the show is incredibly irresponsible for how they t frame sexual encounters that happen when someone is under compulsion. Outside of the TVD world, removing someone's free will and then proceeding to have sex with them is SA. But in the show, it is kind of just normalized, not just for Damon, but for Stefan and Catherine, too. Damon gets the worst of this conversation since we saw it unfold as the main storyline in season one with Caroline, but Catherine and Stefan are for sure guilty of this as well, and we can that most vampires are as well. The show makes it seem compelling someone and then having sex with them happens all the time. However, this issue is never given the time and care that it deserves, which therefore leads for messy interpretations that damage entire characters. Oh, that's a long one. Can y'all tell that, like, I'm not talented at reading? I'm not a talented reader. 
don't know why I chose to do unpopular opinions where I gotta read stuff, but you know, it, it is what it is. I do agree that the show is really irresponsible for the way that they do frame the sex and compulsion thing. Um, especially with the Damon thing, people like to quite often say that what he was doing with Caroline was sexual assault, but I don't really think that that's what it was. Like, he was kind of, he didn't compel her to have sex with him. He compelled her not to be afraid of him, right? Or to keep his secret, correct? Like, he, I don't think he was compelling her to be like, oh, have sex with me. Like, I don't think that's what it was. It seemed like Caroline was willing, willingly having sex with him. She was just being compelled, like, for ex for example, like, she was being compelled to not remember that he bit her. That's not him looking at her and being like, oh, I'm going to have sex with you now, so yeah, let me have sex with you. He didn't say that to compel her. He just said, you know, you're not going to be afraid of me. She wasn't afraid. So that's why it kind of pisses me off when people say that oh Damon Caroline when he really didn't um and I hate that it's not like put on other people as well like I don't know it's weird I do agree that Carol Catherine and Stefan were definitely doing the same thing especially Catherine with Stefan like so I just don't see why it's why it's an issue when it's Damon but it's never an issue when it's anyone else and you gotta like you said you have to assume that that is something most vampires do but i think the the initial act of sex is always usually brought on by the character who doesn't know that they're a vampire you see what i'm saying like i don't think it's like oh like i'm about to force you into it because it never gave force to me like caroline and damon in the beginning it never gave force it gave oh, like i don't know he just didn't want her to tell people that he was a vampire and i get that not saying that i would do it but i just don't think it was i don't think it was essay i just don't i just don't think that's what it was <sighs> y'all may agree or disagree comment down below let me know what you're thinking so this one says elena and bonnie are pretty much better than caroline that's mm, i kind of like caroline and bonnie more than i like elena but if we talking about like as far as who's like irritating I, I can slightly agree. I like Bonnie over anybody, but Bonnie be wilding too. I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't give a direct answer on that. Rebecca is overrated in my opinion. That's T. Caroline and Stefan are way too hypocritical. That's T. Elena is labeled as a crybaby when if I was in her position, losing my whole family in such a short window of time, I would be the exact same way, maybe even worse. I don't think that's why people label Elena as a crybaby. Like, I understand, like, f Jeremy dying hurt me. Alaric dying hurt me. Like, her parents passed, her aunt passed. Like, I could see why Elena would be crying and emotional about that. My thing, my issue with Elena has nothing to do with that part, her grieving part. It has everything to do with Shorty just being irritating. Like, she's just annoying. It has everything to do, it's, it's all the decisions she makes outside of just, like, her, the people around her dying. I just think she makes dumb decisions sometimes, and she do dumb stuff. That's all it is with Elena. But I guess I could kind of agree, I would be the same way. I would be fucking distraught if my entire family died. Like, what the fuck? knock on wood because what people do way too much in trying to compare these characters vampires werewolves etc and their actions to real life people the real world when this is a fantasy fiction show with fictional characters girl girl you a regular girl you ate you you ate with that one and i really that's something that i really uh, I hate the way that people be going to bat for these characters as if, like, these is real people that they hang out with every day. Like, y'all want to argue about who's better between Stefan and Damon? Fine. That's fine. But don't argue with me. Argue with your mama because I really don't care that much. Like, I do this reaction channel for fun. I watch the Vampire Diaries for fun. I share my opinions on it for fun. Not to be arguing with people in the comments about a character because, the, you know, the show is their entire life. Like, it never gave that. And if this show is something that, you know, you watch as a comfort show and you really love it and you really, like, connect with these characters, okay, that's fine. I'm, ne I'm never 
saying that's a bad thing. I have shows that I watch that are my comfort shows all the time, and I, you know, I like to talk and talk about and discuss characters. Yes, I do. I have my favorite characters. Yes, I do. But I do not care enough to comment battle. Like it never gave that. I just, this community could be really, really toxic sometimes. So I wholeheartedly agree with what she just said. Whew, moving on. Neither of the brothers deserve to be with Elena, even though I loved Elena with my whole heart. Yeah, I don't think anybody deserves to be with Elena, Elena, to be honest. Like, I feel like Stefan should get somebody, Damon should get somebody, and Elena should get somebody else. Like, they're just they're better without her and I feel like that's not something that they never discuss like Damon and Stefan I don't think or can recall off the top of my head have ever just sat down and looked at each other and been like bro what the fuck are we doing like what <laughs> we don't even need her like let's just let's just go like leave shorty where she at let's just leave they've never had that conversation and I wish they would come to that realization but I still got four seasons to watch so who knows while I do prefer Damon to Stefan I hate the way the fandom feels the need to constantly compare them y'all already know how I feel about that so I'm not even gonna get into that but see so this one said pretty much any character is better than Elena besides Matt of course mm, I don't know I don't really mm, I don't know about that one I can't agree or disagree my feelings about Elena are like you know it's, the, it's by the episode. It's case by case at this point. Anna, Mason, and John are the three most wasted characters in the show. Yeah. Honestly, not gonna lie, even though Mason was pissing me off at the time that, you know, Damon got him out of here, I feel like Tyler deserved to have Mason. I feel like if they had kept Mason on the show for just a little, like, even for just an extra season, I feel like that would have helped Tyler out so much. So much. Another thing I want to mention, why does no one ever mention how many people Tyler lost? Like, I feel like him and Elena got to be neck and neck. Like, it, it it's sad, man. It's really sad. Anna, I feel like her character, it was what it was for me. And John, it, it was what it was for me too. But I think Mason definitely was wasted. How Bonnie and Jeremy is the best ship of the show up until now yeah yeah i would say them and like caroline and klaus if they had went there with caroline and klaus i would say caroline and klaus might have been there klaus is the best character of the entire tvdu so the universe well i haven't watched the entire series so that's something that i would have to come back to uh i have some favorite characters but i don't have a all around favorite character from the entire show because i want to be able to kind of do that at the end where i can like you know compare all of the stuff that has happened i say that damon is my favorite but who's to say that by the time i'm done watching damon will piss me off so bad that i just be like you know so yeah alaric supposed death is the saddest moment in the entire series alaric's death was really sad and he deserved better he, he, to me, is also another character that was wasted because they did so much shit to him in such a short period of time that it's kind of just like, it was really sad. <laughs> it was really sad. Season four is the second worst season after season seven. I don't have an opinion on that yet. Gotta let me watch it. Alaric is the strongest vampire creature that we've ever seen. Yeah, didn't they say that? Like, he was the, he was that guy, you know? as a vampire he was really strong but wouldn't silas be stronger than him comment that down below delaric is the best non-love interest ship up till now that doesn't include Deffen. yeah i would agree i really do like that they gave damon a, a lark i really feel like it shows you that first of all that damon cares because like if, to say that yeah sure damon loves elena sure okay like we know that but Damon really is like he really cares about his people and they don't show it often but he really does like Bonnie he really fuck heavy he really fuck with Bonnie heavy I think he really fuck with Caroline heavy too like I think Matt Jeremy like he really fuck with them heavy it's just I think he have trouble showing it but like you could tell in some of his actions that he really actually really cares for them and I feel like Alaric is probably the one who opened him up to being able to accept them as family in his eyes because I think he does see them as family to be honest like even when Bonnie got uh when they went to go find Bonnie on the island 
my man's look like happy as shit to see Bonnie. Like, oh, like my man's, like he looked really happy to see her. So I just think Alaric definitely opened up Damon's friendship, you know, side to him. Jeremy's vampire storyline is better than any storyline from this season. He basically carries the season. Yeah, and I really, quite honestly, do agree with this. Like, Jeremy being a vampire hunter was the best thing in season four. Other than that, that's why him dying, like, it really just, it really threw me for a loop. Like, I couldn't understand how we gave him that great-ass storyline and that leads to him dying. Like, huh? It's giving what the fuck? Like, how? Like, how? Like, what are we doing? Mm, and then when you get to the end and you have the fact that they bring Jeremy back to life, him dying just felt like a waste of fucking time. Like, it felt so unnecessary to have us see him die just to bring him back. Like, I, I'll move on. This universe is the best supernatural universe in cinematic history. It includes movies and shows, literally the... TVDU, Twilight, Supernatural, etc. I haven't seen a lot of shows where it's like uh, supernatural universes, but I can say when I first watched this show, I thought, oh, this is about to be a knockoff Twilight. Like, okay, we get two guys and a girl and they fighting over the girl. Like, mm, this is giving real Bella Edward Jacob. However, they did the Bella Edward Jacob storyline better than better than they did that storyline like hello like just oh my god this is just a better it's it is better than twilight it is so much better than twilight to be honest i find twilight very cringy on the watch back like watching twilight when i was a teenager or not even really a teenager i was like a tween watching twilight at that time you know twilight felt like the most important thing to me in the world it was so dramatic it was just so oh my god oh my god but the vampire diaries bitch you couldn't even compare the two like baby if i had watched this as a teenager girl it would have been over for twilight i would have th threw out my little books and called it a day okay it just would have been over so sorry about it. So yeah, I can't agree that it is much better. Much better than Twilight. Matt is hated for no reason. I feel like it's because Matt is the most normal. And like in a supernatural show, being the normal guy is kind of just like, I don't really hate Matt. I just, I guess I like Matt for what he is. He's kind of everybody's like piece of being human, if you will. Like he's just, he's just him. Um, I didn't like Matt in the beginning, though, because his whole, like, obsession with Elena was weird. People should relate to Matt more than any other character in the show. I don't agree with that, necessarily. Should we relate to Matt because he is the only human in the show? That's, like, because he's not a supernatural creature and we're human, so we should relate to, to him just because of that simple fact. Other than that, I don't really relate to Matt other than being human. Um, I feel like the character that I... The character that I most, like, um, resonate with, probably Jeremy. Or, like, probably, maybe, mm, mm, maybe Bonnie, too. But I feel like never, and, it, and it's not even because of, you know, what they got going on. It's because that's just who I resonate with. Caroline isn't as close as Bonnie and Elena are to each other. I feel like I noticed that in season two when she got turned how Bonnie and Elena kind of had like the better friendship and I feel like ever since then it's always been a Bonnie and Elena thing or it was a Bonnie and Caroline they tried to make a Bonnie and Caroline thing but I just don't think that they click as well as Bonnie and Elena do so I, I agree uh, Mason was a good character T well I could say that it's T now but back then, I wouldn't have been able to admit it when I was first watching it because I didn't really care for Mason. Elena is a I can change him type of girl. Whew. That's what I call a pick me. Elena gives very pick me energy. Like she is a she want a builder dude, and don't nobody want a builder dude. Like I ain't, we ain't Bob the Builder. I ain't building you. You better come build because what? No. Elena and Jeremy should have moved from Mystic Falls facts 
I would have moved from Mystic Falls, like, so long ago. I'm talking season one. Me and Jeremy would have packed our shit up and gone, left, been out of there. But, however, something tells me that it don't really make, it wouldn't have made a difference whether they left or not, you know? Like, I don't think it would have, I don't think it would have changed anything because Elena was still the doppelganger, so it wouldn't have mattered. They would have followed her where she went. Catherine didn't ask to be a doppelganger just like Elena. That's true. No one asked for that. That's true. Caroline was made to be a crutch to Elena, but ended up being a better character than her. Ooh, do I want to agree to that? I agree. I'll agree. I'll take that. I agree. Out of everybody, Matt is the only one who doesn't have family to go home to. I mean, no. Tyler don't have nobody. Elena don't have nobody. I feel like the only two people who really have family, for real, are... Caroline and Bonnie. That's it. The council, the council's hatred for vampires is justified, I guess. I mean, to be honest, it, it is. And then at the same time, you really could mind your business. Like, I feel like they could cohabitate with vampires if they chose to, but they just don't. And it, and it is what it is. <laughs> Elena is more like Catherine than she thinks. Yeah, we learn that when Elena becomes a vampire. I think Elena is, I think Elena might be worse than Catherine, especially with her emotions turned off, baby. Anna and Jeremy was better than him and Bonnie, that's Kat. They killed Vicky without thinking about Matt. Well, Vicky was trying to kill them. So I don't think in that moment that they had time to really think about Matt when she was trying to kill them. Vampire Elena is the worst character of any show I've seen in my 19 years of life. I don't know about that. Like I said, I like Vampire Elena more than I like regular Elena. I think Vampire Elena with her emotions turned back on is, is pretty decent. Um, Caroline got kidnapped way too much. I hate it. I hate it. It's either Caroline is going to get kidnapped or Bonnie is going to lose her magic somehow. Like it, it, it never fails. It's the same thing. This show is weird for the compelled relationship aspect. Okay. Yeah. Now, compelling somebody to be in a relationship is is very weird. Because now you're holding them against their will. Like, that's that's weird. But I don't think the compelling, like I was saying earlier, the compelling to be, like, to not be afraid. I don't think that has anything to do with sexual assault. So yeah, that was the unpopular opinion video that I promised you guys. Um, who I have been recording for thirty six minutes. I didn't expect it to be that long. Really thought this was gonna be like a fifteen minute video, but it's not even that you guys left a lot of comments. It's just that a few people had long comments, which I do not mind at all at all. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this video though, for real. If you guys want to see another video like this, please feel free to comment more opinions that you have down below. They don't even have to be a popular opinion, unpopular opinions. They could just be things that you feel about the show. If I get enough, I'll do another video like this one. So, yeah. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. And with that being said...